in the end to be become one unit and again that's from being in a good position if your reins are too long you're you're uh, going to be a little late with your asking of things again if you're you get a little out of balance a little ahead of the motion or a little behind the motion which many people do uh, use the hands for the mouth for their balance or get them with the leg or the spur at the wrong time so you're really sending the horse mixed signals now the great riders today could all win in the equitation classes McLean, Beasy, you know, with position, body awareness. Also, from that, things happen more, more quickly, more efficiently, the, because of the way the connection is. And in the end, the feeling that the horse is really practically listening, I mean, listening to me, reading my mind, by sitting in the right place, by using my legs correctly, by my hands, the use of that, all of that. Asking him to focus even though he's fresh and, and a little nervous. So in the walk, I'm in a full seat, posting trot upper body, shifts a little forward. The feeling that I have, what do you say, long arms and short reins, that my hands are out in front of me, feeling that, feeling how he, accepts my aids so there in the halt he kind of raises up a little bit i'm thinking turn on the right turn on the forehand to the right first thing he did was back up so i kept using simply the right leg send him a little forward again because he was thinking backwards does he mind the one leg that was just from the right leg can you do you feel where the front of the horse is where the back of the horse is and then how we influence the horse. So I'll do that on this side. He's got to think forward in the halt, turn the forehand to the left, left leg. I close it. I touch him with that spur. My right leg is passive. My right leg isn't sticking way out, but it's passive at his side. So just feeling, just even in that simple turn on the forehand, which is really a leg yield, it's isolating the front of the horse and moving the hind legs as he got a little excited I'm going to trot over here a little further it's got to be thinking forward much better that time I put the right leg on and he moved his hind legs beautifully sitting trot primarily my inside leg and once again I hold my position my set middle not so much hands and legs right there because he was carrying himself beautifully and in your flatting the idea of for me anyway that the horse in the end responds to invisible needs and you see that again with the tires whether they're jumpers three-day adventures dressage it looks like the horses are doing it all by themselves and that's from that amazing connection uh, that riders get becoming one with the horse that they're practically reading your mind you don't see the, the top ones pulling and pushing and yeehaw and hauling and all of that that's where it becomes a real art and there